and foreigners who working around here. Yeah, we have lived in the country who claim that we are in the democracy or Thailand, the land of smile. Such a liar. Just listen. Don't listen to me. Listen to all people. Do you hear someone crying? Just listen. Some people are hungry and suffering from the authorities who never listen to us, who always ignore our voice and always take advantage from us. Let's talk about our Thai leader, Prayutan Osha, who have done the top data and be a Prime Minister of Thailand for eight years. You guys, he has failed to manage the COVID-19 pandemic situation, such that the they failed to searching for the cheap and quality vaccine for people. And I have and I have seen that many people die because of that. And use the emergency state to control people's opinion like assembling, just assembling, rather than the COVID-19 pandemic. People are struggle during this dictatorship government that led by Prayutan Osha. So, I think that this is enough to say that Prayutan Osha is not qualified to be any leadership position, especially this upcoming the APEC conference. You know, the upcoming APEC conference is a forum for promoting the trade and investment for liberalization that support the capitalists to lobby the government to their benefit. And did you know, this time, this APEC, this APEC submit they had the Thai represents that coming from the big business owner, like CP, Thai Wave, or Midpon. What about me? And what about you? And what about people? I cannot see people in this equation. The problem is that the APEC summit had been set the strategies by the rich people the capitalists through the BCG model, the B for the biological economy, the C for the circular economy, and the, and the G for the green economies. Wow, this is a beautiful wording for lying people that about what you have been done and the plan that you will do. It seems like BCG model is like an environmental friendly. However, I don't feel that at all. I don't feel it is environmental friendly. You know, that's it, the green watching, which had been an agenda that put in the Thai 20 years development strategies by Brio Dan Ocha. They try to use the carbon credit to be more rightful, to create more power plant. Moreover, they try to steal our house, our nature areas, to be their rustic areas, like our people, like Jana, like Bangor. These are just what happened before APEC summit. What's gonna happen after APEC? This will be more serious. The first one, the farmers might be forced to buy the seeds from that capitalist. We call the seed monopoly. And the pharmaceutical and the medical equipment will be more expensive. What about us? Today, we buy paracetamol like 20 bucks, and after Epic, do you know, we might be like, buy the paracetamol for 
One hundred baht. It can't be. The third one. There will be a policy that increasing forest areas in order to offset carbon and greenhouse gas emission into the atmosphere. So, finally, for this APEC, it seems to be important. But I have no idea that people will benefit. Above all, I cannot trust this government. So, but you get out, stop greed watching, stop dictatorship, and stop this fucking APEC!